Okay. Now we're dealing with which are the following, sh which of the following shows, uh, nine, nine point four hundred twenty-six in expanded form. That now correct me if I'm wrong. That's nine hundred thirty-five and four hundred twenty-six over a thousand. Is that right? Four hundred twenty-six thousand. Thousands, right? Yeah. All right. So first would it be written as one thousand under if you were to break it into a, a fraction? If if I would decide to break it into a fraction, it would be nine three five and four hundred thirty-six. Over a thousand. Yes, that's and they what I thought. Reduce, right, yeah. right. So check this out. The first thing I'm gonna make sure you understand, and I just looked it up. The term expand. The term expand meaning to open up, to unfold, but more applicable in this problem, it means to increase the extent, the number, large, the scope, to enlarge, right? So they say expand that. You know, I gotta make it big. That's to start off with, right? Mm -hmm. I'm making it big. Here you go. The second major part that you got to know. But it's a problem, and it's gonna cure this whole problem right here. They're really checking to see if you know this here. You got this decimal here, you got this, and you got this. Decimal here, right? Mm -hmm. You got this, this, this. That, that make up the whole problem. So look, check this out. You know if I had five times, I'm just making up this, I don't have nothing to do with that. I'm going to example to build you up to that. If I had five times, one ten. And that dot mean multiplication, right? Later, I think right now y'all using the X, but later on when you get in a deeper mat, you're going to see the dot mean multiplication, right? Mm -hmm. If you had to multiply that, you would probably say, probably put a 1 underneath. You dealt with multiplication of fractions yet? Mm -hmm. All right. You no, probably, no, 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 no. A little bit. Well, look, all you're going to do is say 5 times 1 is 5, right? Mm -hmm. And 1 times 10 is 10, and you're done, right? 5 tenths. 5 tenths. You follow that? Yeah. So check this out. What if I ask you was 5 times 1 over 100? You probably again gonna put a one underneath, right? Mm -hmm. Cause five over one is the same thing as five, right? So you gonna multiply that five times one is five. One times one hundred is a hundred, right? Mm -hmm. You follow? Five. Lastly, lastly, if I ask you to multiply five times one over a thousand, you probably be to pick up on a pattern and notice that you already got a one nine now, and you got the five at the top. That that's gonna equal to five over a thousand. You picked up on that pattern. All right. So you just automatically put that one in there? Yeah, because look, five over one is the same thing as five. Okay. And sometimes for them to see it, you, you put, put the that one. one underneath there. You understand yeah. what he's saying? Beautiful. Because later on, when you have something like six over one, and they ask you to divide that, they ask you how many times do one go into six? It's the same thing as six. You got me? Mm -hmm. Even if I had 12 over one, what that equal to? 12, because one go into 12, 12 times. You follow that? Mm -hmm. So he go to kill that problem. You know which place this is? The first place to the left of the decimal. You know what place that's called? That's the hundred. The first place to the left. Mm -hmm. All right, don't worry about it. It is right here. One. Wow. You following me so far? Right? The second place to ten. the left of the decimal. Good. It's the tens, right? And notice it's T-E-N-S, right? Ten. That place there is the what? Hundred. All right, good. H-U-N. Notice the spelling of it. Hundreds, right? Mm -hmm. Now, this is the decimal point, right? Mm -hmm. What's that place, though? Hundreds. Uh -uh, to the first place to the right of the decimal. Here Five. it is. I'm going to write it for you. I'm going to write it for you. Now you know. Just study. It's called a tenth. You follow me? Mm -hmm. You know the place. The second to to the right of the decimal is called the hundreds, right? Hundreds. Now, watch how I spell it now. The I think it's a D, then the THS, right? Hundreds. Yeah, you follow me? Mm -hmm. Then you know the place to the third place to the right of the decimal? Thousand. Good. Watch how I spell it. You follow all that so far? Mm -hmm. Let me know if my writing all regular and you can't make it out. No, I'm Good so far. Mm -hmm. Now notice the difference between the right side of the decimal and the left side of the decimal. The left side go ones, tens, hundreds, and then thousands, right? Mm -hmm. Notice the right side say tens, hundreds, thousands, right? You follow all that so far? Mm -hmm. So now, let's look at that problem. Look at the problem. And this really essentially what they're trying to see if you can see. What place that nine in? That's the tenth. Oh, look again. It's to the how hundreds. many places there to the left? It's in the hundreds, right? Mm -hmm. So in order to get nine hundred, you have to do nine times a hundred, right? Mm -hmm. What place that three in? Ten. So three times ten, right? Thirty. All right. What place that five in? One. So that's why they have five times one, right? Mm hmm Now, check this out. Oh, I love it. Look to the right. What place that four in? Tenths. Tenths. So check this out. 
do you know that this is considered to be one tenth, right? That's a one that's right there. Yeah, that's a one. My fault. That's considered to be two tenths, right? I'm saving these notes, so scratch that a clear to clear one. I'm saving it. One tenth. Okay. All right. This what we call three tenths, right? And it's four tenths, right? So check this out. What place that two in? The tenth. Uh, again. But look, it's two players to the right, right? Hundreds. So that's the hundreds, right? Uh -huh. So that's why they have two times one over a hundred. Because look, two times one over a hundred is going to give you two over a hundred, right? Mm -hmm. Which is the same thing as look, two hundreds. You got it? And look, what place that six in? Thousands. So that's why they have six times one over a thousand. Because look, remember from early what we just did? Mm -hmm. What's six times what six time one over a thousand going to give you? Six thousand. I forget. It's gonna give you six. So, cause you thousand, put a one under here. Yeah, if you put a one underneath that, that one time a thousand will give you that thousand, and six times one will give you six, right? The back so side that, of the page. They give you six thousands, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. The back side of page one. So. In this problem here. What you're gonna have is nine hundred. So let's do look, check it out. Let's look at it. Nine times a hundred is nine hundred. Three times ten is thirty. Five times one is five, right? Mm -hmm. And then four times a tenth is four tenth. Two times a hundred is two hundred. You mean two times one over a hundred gonna give you two over a hundred. Okay. And <laughs> six times a thousand. How did you calculate that? You just multiplied two times one is two? Yeah. And didn't bother with the denominator? Well, check it out. After you do this here maybe fifteen times, mm -hmm. if I tell you do two over one over ten, and then the next step you do two over one times one over ten, and you'll do this, 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 this. Mm -hmm. Then I tell you do it again with three times one ten. Three over one, one ten. Three times one is three. One times ten is ten. After you do that about fifteen times, wait, you, wait, 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 wait. You went too fast. All right. Three times one. I'm sorry. Three times one is three, right? Uh huh. One times ten is ten, right? Right. Two times one is two. One times ten is ten, right? After you do that about fifteen times, when you have a whole number, you understand what he's saying? When you have a whole number, time a one over something. You're gonna realize that you just really multiply the time to the top and keep the bottom. That's how you do it about 15 times here. She, she you go, you in your mind, you're gonna keep the one. Yeah, yeah. In, in other words, mind. there's gonna be two times one, it's just gonna be two tenths. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's how you do it about 15 times, yeah, you're, you're gonna, gonna see the shortcut. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but we write it out just so you can see it for a long time. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's awesome, man. See. That's Hold awesome. Up. Let me see. Let me make sure I, uh, now. Nah. So we'll do the oh, same application so, 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 to all of these. No, well, what they want is, yeah, you could. So these what you three gonna, here, I mean. But what you're going to find out is, so what it is, six times a thousand, we use six thousands, right? All right. So now, 900 plus 30 plus 5, give you that 935, right? And then when I have the, what that was, four tenths plus. Two over hundred plus six over thousand. Let me see how that's going. Wait, I'm I'm lost. Where you at with that? The four tenths and two. Oh, 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 oh. this. What I did was I'm trying to see four times one give me four tenths, right? Like, oh, okay, that's what you're gonna. Yeah, so you're that's what I'm Four tenths, two hundreds, and and, and uh, six thousands. Yeah. So what? Six I'm, one thousand. What I'm about to find out is. What I'm about to find out is that when I multiply that out, it's supposed to equal to that. If it don't, this can't be my answer. You mm -hmm. got me? When mm -hmm. I do all my multiplications, it got to equal to that. But if it don't, you know that can't be the answer. Mm -hmm. To start things off, I know this could be my answer because 9 times 10 is 90. Right. You know that part, part is, one is three. this part here. Yeah, you see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? All of them there is given, but this is where the, the calculations come in. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I came up with, but didn't. Right. We, we guessed it. I think All we right. guessed it was the second one, if I'm not mistaken. All right. You know what? There's one other thing I need to show you, too. And, and maybe the now, second. do me a favor. Write the number one and put it in a circle on here. On the first page. This page here. Just write a one. One. one circle. Eight. Okay. And then this side here. All I got to do is number one. A little bit. Just okay. break down on the first page. 
peep this out. And I think I should have did it. Well, I'm going to do this now. Peep this out. And this is going to be kind of fast. So look at this up, huh? Put, See, a, two, put a two path. on it right quick. It's just a second example. Mm -hmm. I'm Check just, this out. I'm going to do this. Let me know when I need to slow down. I'm figuring out the six times you should pick up on the pad. No, five times you should pick up on the pad. You ready? You ready? Check this out. Four over ten. That's the same thing as point four. You got me? Mm hmm. Five over ten. Same thing as point five, right? Yeah, we were talking about yeah. last night. Six over ten. Same thing as point six. You got me? Mm hmm. Seven over ten is the same thing as point seven. So you basically me? anything. Under the number is the point, and then the number on top is that's if the ten it. underneath. Right. That's only for the ten. You follow me? Mm -hmm. So that means if I give you eight over ten, it's a point. It's a point, point. Point eight. Point you follow eight. me? Yeah. You follow me? Yeah. All right. So now, check this out. Would you agree? I'm about to make it a little different. Seven over a hundred is equal to point zero seven. seven. You follow me? Because of them two spaces. Remember the two spaces we were talking about last night? Yeah. This the tenth and this the hundredth spot. You follow me? Right. Six over a hundred is equal to point zero six, right? Because this what we call six hundredths. And that's six hundredths. So that'd be the hundredths. That's the hundredth spot. Remember right here we see what the spot was? Mm -hmm. And that's what they're really checking to see if you know what the hundred spots, dollar spots is. You got me? Mm hmm So from now, you gotta pick up the pattern. If I had seventeen over a hundred. Still on page two. Side two. Seventeen over a hundred. That's equal to what? Point, Point seventeen. Cause that's seventeen hundredths. And that's seventeen hundredths. Hundreds. And we only had the zeros right here because it's... Because they didn't have... Yeah, it was that seven was only for the hundred. If yeah. it was like a two-digit number, then we'll put a two-digit number. You follow me? Mm -hmm. So again, let me bring it back. Two over a hundred. That's equal to point zero two. two. You got me? Oh, mm -hmm. he's starting to yeah. get it. You follow me? Yeah. He got the last one. Two over a thousand. That's equal to what? Point zero zero two. Good, cause point zero zero two. Because what we say that third spot was the hundred, the, 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 the thousand hundred, spot. The thousand Remember, spot, that was which spot? That was the hundred. That, ah, was, the first spot. that was the ten spots. Then the what? Hundred spot, not stop. Yeah, spot. good. So six over a thousand is what? Zero zero dot point zero zero six. You follow that? Yeah. Cause that's six thousandths, ten, and that's hundred, six thousandths. thousandths. You got me? Mm -hmm. How about this one here? Zero point zero twelve. Good. Point zero one two. This twelve thousandths, right? Mm -hmm. And by this last number being in a thousand spot, that's twelve thousandths. You got me? Right. You see how they're the same? So now you done caught the pattern with all that. So now, peep this out. Can you look at this here? And if I multiply that, what that's gonna give me? Can you look at it and tell me what four? Look, I'm gonna put it on paper. What four? Time one tenth gonna give me. Four four tenth. Good. Pause right there. What does equal to as a decimal? Four tenths. All right. So yeah. So what is equal? To, if I have to write it as a decimal, it'll be point what? Point zero. Point four. Good. I'm gonna pause there. Look at the second one. It said two times one over hundred. If I multiply it out and leave it in a fraction, what it's gonna be? Point zero two. Point, yeah, 0.02. Yeah, well, you skipped a step, but that's good. So that's point zero 0.02, right? So look, we had point 0.4. You just told me point 0.4. Then you just told me point zero 0.02, right? Now, if I multiply 6 times 1 over 1,000, what that give me? Point zero zero 0.006. Pause right there. Point zero zero 0.006, right? Mm -hmm. You follow all that? Yeah. So look, what that is is when you multiply that, you got this. When you multiply that, you got Page this, right? Two. And when you multiply that, Two you got this here, right? Six, yeah. Right? So now, you, you remember how to add fractions? I mean, decimal, I'm sorry. Yeah. We just showed yeah. you. Remember how to add decimal? Yeah. All right, this is what we do. We line up our decimal points. We line up our first numbers. And if you can't see it, like, they have one, two, three numbers, right? Some of them have one, two, three numbers, right? Right. One, two, three numbers, right? Because mm -hmm. if it's blank, it's the same thing as a zero when it's to the right, right? Mm -hmm. So look, if I add that up, that's six. That's two, two, and that's four. So that's how we know 
Remember I told you that this whole thing got to equal up to that? Mm-hmm. And we looked at it from several different ways how it could equal up to it. Right. We could put in fraction form, decimal form, everything. You got, but you know this ain't going to go tell up. Nine times ten is ninety, right? Mm-hmm. So we picked the wrong answer. This was the right answer. Yeah, that's the one we picked. Yeah, that's what, no, that's when we did it last night, we picked number two. We did it wrong. Yeah, because look, nine times ten gonna give you ninety plus three is ninety-three. That's 93 all right, because we gonna plus go over five this a million times until you gonna yeah. do this shit. But the street. main thing is, if you know this here, you're home free. Where is that? It's here right here. That's what they're really checking to see if you know your different places. Right. That's what they're really checking to see if you know your place. So, right side. Tenths, tenths, hundreds, yeah. thousands. thousands, left side, hundreds. Yeah. Hold on, no, the good way like that ones, tens, hundreds, right. then thousands. Right. Yeah, I mean, on the right side, it started at the tenth. The difference between the right side and left side is right side started off the tenths, left side started off the ones. Right. But I think on your grade level, they probably want you to know at least four places to each side. So I'm going to just tell you right now, this is what the, the next spot, if you would have kept on, it's called your ten thousandths. You got me? T H O S E N D T H S. You got it? And then you already know it's to the left of a hundred, son. Thousands, right? Thousands. Yeah, yeah. But really, they're checking to see if you know this hill. Yeah. But always a way you can double check. When you multiply and add all that up, mm-hmm. if it don't equal up what you started off with, that ain't the answer. That ain't the answer. You understand? Yeah. Let's, well, hit let's it from the see if you could do... Let's hit it from the reverse right fast. Okay, this now, is now way to double make check. that page How about three. This here? Make a three on that one. How about this here problem now? What if I ask you to expand this hill? How would you expand? I start off with this side. You can start off either side you want. But the main thing is, as long as you know the different places, you're home free. Ones, tens, hundreds. Pause right there. According to what you're saying, that's the ones, tens, hundreds, right? Mm hmm. So, five times 100. I'm just going by what you said, right? Okay. Plus, what place that is? Tens. Four times 10. Plus, what place that is? Ones. Seven times 1. Plus, what place that is? Tenths. So that's zero times one tenth, right? Mm-hmm. What place that is? Hundreds. Plus two times one over a hundred. Plus what place that is? Thousands. Three times one over a thousand. And that's it. And you would have just expanded it right there. Mm-hmm. But it all came from you got to know the places. That's really what they check to see if you know the places. And how to represent the place. And the tenths places are on page is, one, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tenths is one over ten. Or it could be tenths is one over ten. Or it could be represented as point one. You got it? Mm-hmm. And I think, give me your questions, because I know I skipped something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, you did, I can't tell you how amazing this is. Check this out, pause right now. Don't, don't move. What this going to give you? Six what? Six tenths. Six tenths, right? Yeah. Go down a little, Caesar. Let me see how you go down. Yeah, that's good. Look, check this out. No, no, yeah, come right down there. this. Ah, bring it down. Right here. Look at that. What place the six in? The, the, the thousand. The thousand. What place they got? That's the tenths, right? Yeah. So you know that can't be it. Yeah, they ain't even in the same place. Because the end is the tenths and that's the tenths. thousand. Yeah. Oh, he getting it. I'm telling you, if you know this here right here, this the main thing they're checking to see. If now, you what's this? Um... Right, wait, why does this a uh, right 18 and 456,000? Same thing, he just did it just now on that problem. I get yeah, so that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. If you know, if you know this here, you home that chart. They yeah, to see well, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna scan these here, this and I'm gonna tie it to this recording. As long as you know this chart, he home free, and he done said it several times, and but. See, just don't get mixed up on the right side and left. The left side start off the ones. The right side start off the tenths. Right. If you can remember that, you home free because you got the spots memorized. So that's what they trying to see if you know them, the places. One, this is two. This is three. Yeah, I'ma scan all of these notes and uh.
multiplication in parentheses, mm -hmm. once you add everything up, it should come up with what you started off with. Right. If it don't, you know you made a mistake somewhere. Right. But like if I add that up, that's 90 plus 50 plus 0, 0.4 plus 0.2, right? That's, to me, 140.24. It's not showing the answer, but if, if that answer don't equal up to, I mean, what they had up there is not this, uh, I know that couldn't be the answer, you got me? That's the way you double check your answers. See, but when we get finished practicing based on what Yeah, you but if, if he memorized he that part of that, he on free he already kind of got it. It's on here. You already we kind of got it. We gonna practice this, and we gonna add this to, to science. And he, once he get that, in, that vision, can see it, you know, then he'll be able to flip numbers all kind of ways. Yeah. And I think he's 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 yeah, he already he, yeah, he he ain't had no time no trouble understanding that so he good. He yeah, good. but we're gonna practice it free. though. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna practice it and we're gonna wipe this shit down. But again, you know, I understand if they get at his age, if he get that basic Yeah, yeah that they brought him basic the foundation yeah. and say, bro, I, I I used to teach uh ninth grade and a dude was so solid and what he learned from like third to eight? Yeah. I just sit him in an um, 11th grade class and um, he could take the book and kind of read and understand to catch what's going on. Yeah. But it's that foundation. Yeah, so it's good yeah. That that's what I'm trying to give him. But uh, this here was a really, really great session. And I thank you, bro. But that's for family, too. That's ain't your no cousin. Thing, ain't no thing, ain't no thing. But he's an L.Y. just like you. But uh, check this out. Six. What is called expanded three. notation? Yeah, it watches six three zero 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 um zero zero zero. I'm just gonna add another zero on just before we done. You follow me? So check this out. Man, if I'm sending to somebody to go to the moon is this many my, miles or whatever, man, I don't feel like keep on typing that no every day, right? Cause they deal with astronomical numbers. So the same way you see this here. There's another way I can write this. I just can say 6.3 times 10 to the... Oh, the powers. To the 11. And that, that, that saves a whole lot of time if I got big, 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 big numbers. And in science, you deal with big, big, big numbers. So that's why you got the moon, to use the power. The sun thing. and all that stuff. That, that, that part of the reading to help out. Instead of keep writing all that long, long, long stuff, yeah. just put that power on there. And, and that's and the done. same thing. And you're going to see that later see on. See why they use that to the power thing we were doing? But let me show you the common mistake. That's what I was trying to tell you yesterday. Normally, people would say 3 to the 4 is equal to 12. Normally, they make a mistake and multiply that, but that's wrong. You both say three times three times three times three. Mm -hmm. You got me? One, two, three, four. That's nine, twenty-seven, eighty-one. So three to the four is really eighty-one. Mm -hmm. If I but the common mistake, everybody make this mistake. They'll do three times four and call it a day. Well, all because that was three times four or five times six is still wrong to multiply this number by the powers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wrong to say three times four. Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah. That's wrong. You both say three times three times three times. Both say three times multiply three four times. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, three times, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And see, that's why I was getting mixed up because I was saying, well, maybe we should, I just to tell myself three times. But he kept saying, no, well, you already did it once when you did this one, when you started with the three. And he was coming out right. But it was something I was missing about that. Mm -hmm. But let me see, three times three is nine, 27. Three times 27 is your answer, right? Yeah, eight and one. Okay. Okay. That's great. But yeah, this is what we found last night. Um, you know, to kind of give us some... And see, I'm trying to get finished with this shit so we can catch him up so we can go fishing, man. I'm trying yeah, to get down to the crabs, yeah, killing them yeah, down there, bro. Yeah, yeah. Man, my boy and them got 28 crabs in the morning and 30 crabs in the evening. Uh -huh. Down the highway down yeah. there. And look, let me show you. Wait, let me stop this.